And I would like to thank my first mate supporters, Andre Cruz. This is Don the Diecast Pirate, and today I have for you a Hot Wheels Redline Oldsmobile 442 Police Cruiser Restoration. And I'll say right off the bat, I thought that I had recorded the intro to it, and I can't find that footage anywhere, so we are going to supplement a couple other cars as an idea of what it started as and you will see what it looks like before it's stripped I just don't have it <laughs> to put on the turntable to show you so what I did is I got out one two three of my others okay so heh <laughs> This one best represents what the other one is because it has the cap wheels on the back and the straight axle on the front and it has the sticker on the side. The other one does have stickers and it has an intact hood. This one is missing a hood. Um, this will be a future... No, I'm not quite sure. Uh, I know I want to do... I want to take one of these and do a clone of a regular 442 and I'm thinking this one because I have a replacement hood for it. Um, let's see, then we have this one that has the broken hinge on the hood. Um, but this is a straight axle front and rear. And then we have this one that's straight axle front and rear here with an intact hood. And a better light. It does have the uh, corrosion on the base. The other one is very, very clean. The, the one I'm actually building in this video is very, very clean as far as the casting and the base and everything. It cleaned up super nice, which you will see in the video. Um, so yeah, I mean, what I might consider doing is swapping one of these straight axle bases for the one off of this car and using this to restore a police cruiser with a, well probably what I might end up doing is swapping the bases on these I might take this corroded base and cut the axles out clean it up and use it as the base for the 442 clone uh, and then take this base with the cap wheel axle and put it underneath this one I think that's what I'll do when I go to do those so let me get these up on the turntable and we'll take a look at it so just remember these are just a representation of what we are starting with uh, because I lost the footage or I forgot to record it I'm not sure which but in any case we're going to make an Oldsmobile 442 restoration all right, so I got a little carried away the other day and was not paying attention. And I actually used a larger drill bit on these posts. And thankfully, I'm good enough with my steady hand when I'm drilling to get them pretty much centered. Unfortunately, it would have been better if I had used the 1 16th. Little bit right so found it where I put this so I bought 256 tap and screws from Bright Vision I put it in a quick order as soon as I realized what I had done I stopped did not move forward anymore and bought this tap so Let's just pull this out of here. I, I went on eBay. For whatever reason, the, the website wasn't working that night. So I went on eBay and went to the eBay store. 
and ordered this stuff. I may try filling that in a little bit with something and smoothing it off and making a new one. If not, we may just try cleaning that up just the way it is. Um, we'll put new cap wheels on the back. We'll replace this front axle with a reproduction. And we'll clean up the interior. The glass looks like it'll clean up good. And uh, we'll throw this in the ultrasonic cleaner. There's a little bit of paint on the front there. We'll throw, we'll throw these parts in the ultrasonic cleaner. And this will probably put this in there too. Yeah. And we'll get this car in the awesome sauce. Along with a few other cars I'm getting ready to build. Alright, so I got 100% paint removal with the awesome sauce. And now we'll do a little bit of polishing up on this. Not a whole lot, maybe a, just a little bit of deburn. And uh, get it ready for paint. Alright, so I have ground this down. And I'm going to try and pop this axle out of there without bending it too much. And it still doesn't look like it wants to be ready to come out of there. So, almost just about not quite, huh? Maybe. Let's try the There we go. Got it. That bent it a little bit. It's all covered with fuzzies. So we got that out of there. So this reminds me of huh. This reminds me of the one this is the same axles that I used on that. A lot of 55 so when I go to glue this in I want to make sure that it's definitely centered and the axle is not going to poke out one side or the other hmm. it's the first time I've ever removed a cap wheel that was quite satisfying got this base all cleaned up and still seeing a little bit of red right on there you need to get that off because this car did not have red tail lights all right that is better these calf wheels on all right and because when I was a kid building models I always wanted to see a sneak peek of what the finished thing's gonna look like right imagine if we went Zamac with this <laughs> all right okay so we're gonna go with the gray style res primer on this one and then we're gonna throw on the white enamel paint from the red line shop over top of it this is for the 70s and 80s Hot Wheels.
All right, so I think we're about ready to wrap this thing up, but it still needs a parse delivery. So, hey, looky here. Here comes a shell truck. Let's see what we have in the back of this thing. Get my hand in the way there. Oh, look, we have some police stickers. All right. Thank you, shell guy. You can go back to work now. All right, see you later. So, uh, this car was originally a sticker car. I did get uh, decals, too. Uh, I had actually recorded a clip of getting those delivered. Uh, however, this was a sticker car, and I want to go back to stickers. So, I know the star goes towards the back. But I'm not exactly sure how it lines up. Okay. So it looks like it gets lined up with the bottom of the car and the star goes underneath the door handle. That looks almost right. Static cling. As soon as I get close to the car, it's, it's getting sucked in. So I just need to... Oh, close enough. And I did get these from the red line shop. All right. So yes, the shell box truck delivers parts for your original red lines from the red line shop. Just so you know. But only on this channel, unless somebody else gets one and does it too. So yeah, there's that. <laughs> All right. Let's get this thing reassembled. Um, show you what I have here. So I got the base. I glued this axle in on a, uh, an impromptu live stream last night on Instagram. So if anybody was hanging out and watching that, you may have seen me do that. I don't know if I got it on camera or not. I was trying to at any rate. Um, got it pretty centered in there. Just put the dab of super glue down in there and hit it with the InstaSet. So that's all good and ready to go. Uh, went ahead and dipped the windshield and the interior in the floor shine. I uh, thought about making a new light. This one was a little bit damaged and I decided to go ahead and put this one back in it for now. I may uh, make a new one in the future. I don't know or get a new one. See right now, the only person I've seen sell them on eBay sells red and blue together and I don't have a use for the blue ones. But I might go ahead and buy some anyway. I don't know. We'll see how that works out. So I'm gonna get this thing reassembled. I do have to, I know on the front screw, maybe on the back one too, uh, grind it down because the post is short. So let me get that done and we'll come back for the reveal. Ladies and gentlemen, I proudly present to you a Hot Wheels Red Line. Oldsmobile 442 Police Cruiser Restored to its former glory You know I get goosebumps when I do one of these reveals <laughs> Let's get this thing up on the turntable and take a look at it So here we have it. I believe it's a 69 Oldsmobile 442 police cruiser. Got the red light on top, the reproduction red line wheels on the front, the reproduction red line caps on the back. We clean the interior and the interior. Yeah, we clean the interior and the windshield in the ultrasonic cleaner. They came out perfectly. I just took them to the sink, rinsed them off, scrubbed them with a toothbrush, let them dry completely, put them in the floor shine. I have to say, I think this is my best 
enamel paint job from the Redline shop so far. If you saw that live stream, I had to pick a hair off the roof very carefully while the paint was still wet with a tiny pair of tweezers and not get it into the paint. Upcoming videos tomorrow we have the truck build off with Somo diecast. Uh, next Friday we have the uh, subscribers choice. Uh, also the four horsemen build is due. On the first we have three blind mice, 33 Plymouth. On the ninth of next month we have a build off with Matchbox Mark. On the 15th we'll have Diecast Mafia shop trucks. Um, I have an idea for something for that. Uh, and then uh, on the 18th of May is the Three Blind Mice Red Line build. And then on the 29th of May, building a race car uh, for an invitational with uh, Paul over at Diecast Graveyard. And also we'll have another Four Horsemen build at the end of the month. So things are going to slow down a little bit. I think I may... There was something about a three blind mice uh, bone shaker. I have to check the date on that. I don't know if I'll sign up for that or not. I do have bone shakers. I'll have to check the schedule. This leaves the last few weeks. Last week and this week and this upcoming week is a lot to get done in a short amount of time. And we'll see if I can get it all done in time. I, With the ideas that I have, I may have to skip some of my ideas just to get the cars done. Um, but I won't skimp on the subscriber's choice. I have it stripped and polished. And ready for whatever I'm going to do to it. I just have to figure that out. I want to give a shout out to my buddy Peter over at PB's Retro Restorations. Uh, if you have not seen his channel, go over there and check it out. Subscribe to him. Put a comment on one of his videos. Or all of his videos. You know. So. Alright guys. Thanks for watching. If you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing. Click that like button for me. It really helps me out a lot. Leave a comment down below. Tell me who you are, what you got going on. If you have a YouTube channel, I will come check you out. And uh, ring the bell for notifications. As always, this is Don the Diecast Pirate, and I will see you next time.